Hey, make hot metals glow. Create a new material and replace a principled BSDF shader with a simple emission shader. For getting the right colors for the hot metal, add a black body node. This enables to input a temperature in Kelvin and get the resulting black body radiation out of it. Neat. As dragging the slider between thousands of degrees is annoying, I am adding a math node. I set the type to multiply and add a factor of 1000. Much nicer to handle now. By playing around you will see that temperatures below 800 degrees don't affect the color anymore. But we want the metal to stop glowing at that point. Therefore I'm adding a map range node. I use the value from our math node as an input. The from min parameter is set to 800 and the from x to 10,000. This makes the metal start glowing at 800 degrees and reaches full intensity at 10,000 degrees. You can use the 2max parameter as a brightness multiplier. I set it to the value of 10. With the color sorted, let's take care of the influence. By using an ambient occlusion node and inverting it via an invert color node, we create a mask. Use the math node to multiply it on the aura temperature. Now we start to get a good result, but something is not looking right. Let's fix that. Create another ambient occlusion node and check the inside box. Mix this with the previously created mask via a color mix node. Now it actually looks like hot metal. To make this setup reusable, add an add shader behind the emission shader. Select all the nodes aside the output and press Ctrl G to group it. Connect the shader socket from the add shader into the group input. Connect the temperature value from the multiply node as well. Press tab to leave the node group. Now you have one node group you can add to any of your materials. Rename it to your liking. I hope you liked the tutorial. If you want to support my effort, stop by my Patreon. The node group is available there for download.